as pledged during our interview in January, Marula has hit uh, the ground running. We've seized the opportunity to partner with uh, GEMS and Industrial Minerals to provide uh, technical and financial support to increase production of their existing or extant mine from 1,000 tons to between uh, 5,000 5, to 10,000 tons uh, a month. Um, yeah, and uh, obviously the need to grow the technical team is uh, therefore imperative given the exploration and mining plans that we have uh, for the year, for the rest of the year. Uh, the Risoro mine is, is located in north central Kenya within the Proterozoic uh, Mozambique mobile belt uh, in the portion which lies uh, on the eastern side of the Af East African uh, Rift Valley. Uh, initial findings point to a structurally uh, controlled ore body with both hydrothermal and terrestrial input uh, set in a um, transgressive and regressive continental shelf environment. Uh, unfortunately, most, most work is, most of the base maps that we're using are actually colonial. Um, uh, this is work that was carried out uh, between the 50s and the 60s. Um, historical mapping by Jennings in 1957 uh, supports our model though, which is quite encouraging and points to a mineralized faulted contact between quartz feldspar granulite and leucocratic biotite gneiss that spans uh, five kilometers. It is interesting to note that uh, Jennings, uh, while doing the regional mapping, did not identify the ore body that we pursue at the moment. Okay, the immediate mine site consists of three open pits that form a cumulative length of 600 meters. Um, uh, the bodies strike at about 35, 235 degrees uh, using the right hand rule. There are um, and these cumulative ore bodies, the three ore bodies, uh, are spread intermittently uh, over a strike length of 1.25 kilometers, with the depths varying from 1.5 to 12 meters deep. Uh, ore thicknesses range between 1 to 3 meters, with uh, an average grade of greater than 36 percent. Um, having been uh, mined historically. Of course, the immediate target is to establish the um, down dip and uh, strike length continuity beyond non-mineralization uh, through a progressive uh, phase study. As I've mentioned before, um, um, the historical mapping that we've confirmed uh, tends to show the structural uh, controlling mechanism uh, actually spans more than uh, or actually spans about five kilometers which is um, obviously beyond the 1.2 kilometer uh, structural control that we have identified to date. Um, and then obviously given the um, unusual magnetic uh, properties of the manganese that we have at Larisoro, uh, one of the immediate uh, um, one of the immediate tasks will be to conduct a ground magnetic survey. We've already allocated uh, uh, between 40 and 50 line kilometers because um, we are confident that uh, this should be able to define quickly and in a in a, in an affordable way um, uh, the the structural um, kinematics of the whole body. Yeah. Yes, um, challenges, uh, obviously there is, there is a scarcity of data, um, which we are obviously uh, gearing ourselves to improve on. Uh, we, are, we are still relying on um, historical base maps, as I mentioned before, but we're going to um, uh, use our newly recruited team to improve on that. Um, but when we look at opportunities, I prefer to um, 
dwell on the opportunities. I, I recognize that we have a very capable team, which is well funded and we're rearing to go with this, turn it around as, as quick as possible. Yeah, okay, we, we definitely have a comprehensive plan on both extraction and exploration. Um, we have between two and three thousand tons of stockpile of material that um, uh, was historically mined that we would like to process and improve on. Yeah. So we are we are actually working hand in hand uh, with our metallurgists to to um, find or f to design the best processing. Uh, flowchart that we could use, but on the on on the exploration front, um, yes, we already have a model, which is supported uh, by both historical and um, uh, current facts that we have amassed. But yes, of course, uh, further exploration work shall be dependent on um, on interpreted magnetic anomalies uh, or structural indicators that would support. Uh, both uh, RC or uh, diamond drilling. So we have, uh, basically we have a comprehensive plan and we'll ensure that um, um, whatever investors are put in, in into Marula will be put to good use.